many subs, I'll tell me, but occasionally you do. That one there, the silver one, obviously not the pickup. So, it's just, it's just rambling, ranting, venting, whatever you want to call it. Just sometimes it's just, it's like, come on, can we not just wake up to what's going, you know, wake up a little bit of reality, man, come on now. Y'all get butthurt about everything. Well, you sound butthurt now, Mark. Well, I'm not butthurt. I'm not. Well, maybe I am. No, I'm not. I'm just explaining how the procedure works. Once you, once you do the same thing day in and day out. Once you, once you do the, once you recognise how the system works, you you know how they're supposed to come across. They they see pilot changes their ways and flying day. QT, Quick Trip has always done this, QT. They would always say, welcome to QT, or hello. Actually, I think it was hello. So they'd be like, hello. And they would recognize you as you come in the store, so that they recognize that you came in the store. They have seen you. So pilots, and I think Laos, and they're all starting to do it now. It's been, I think it's been a year, two years now. And they've all been doing this whole welcome to Lars, welcome to Pilot, welcome to Flying J, welcome to TA, welcome to Petro, and they and they all do this common courtesy shit now. Well, see if they don't do it, you can make a complaint. I'm not gonna, I don't give a shit. But you can make a complaint because that's their procedure. They want their employees to do this. Did they say? Or did they recognise you when they come in the store? Did they did, did they greet they said greet you? Did they greet you? And you can say no. And when you say no, they go down and go, why aren't you greeting these people? Why aren't you saying hello? Why aren't you being courteous? Why aren't you being respectful? See? I know I don't give a shit. But it is their policy. That's what they want you to do. Never used to be like that. But what used to be back in the day was you got recognised without them having to tell you. You could walk in a store and just someone used to just go to you, hey, you know what I mean, hello. When you walk up, they was always courteous. But of course, everything now gets blamed on the goof. So goof gets the blame for everything. The upside down well gets blamed for everything. Everything gets blamed for, everything keeps getting blamed, keeps getting blamed, keeps getting, it's like bollocks, bollocks. You can't keep blaming that shit, man, stop it already. If you want to beat the whole bullshit narrative that's going on stop being a dick towards it recognize that nothing's really changed because the fuck nothing's changed i've been out here in this shit since this shit kicked off at the start of 2020 and i've and i've been out here that long i've seen my wife and kid a few times on the road they've come down and meet me Last year I stayed nine days in a motel. This year I stayed nine days in a motel. Both times when Blue went into the shop. And that's the only time that I've been off the road. The rest of the time it's been seven days a week. Moving, moving, moving. I've been through this shit for nearly two fucking years. And I'm telling you all, if anybody takes any notice of what I'm saying, which is fucking no one, because no one really watches these videos, it's just you two. But the truth is, Ain't nothing changed. A little bit here and there. Apart from having to put a face diaper on your face, antenna, hand sanitizer stations all over the fucking place. I haven't changed my fucking ways once. Uh, I, I, I wash my hands when I go to the restroom if I use the if I use the latrines or if I use the fucking queen seat. Uh, I wash my hands, that's an absolute yes. But if I'm working on my truck, fuck no. I, I, I wash them as such, yes. When I'm on the side of the road, I wash them with such yes. But they're not, I don't give a shit. I spray, I spray fly spray in my fucking truck, man. I've had the windows open with no air and all these things, and it's bollocks. Is Koof real? Possibly, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. I've met many people that have caught it. I've met many people that have caught it and haven't died. I've met people that told me that they're certain people in their lives have caught it and died. I don't know if they died from it. I can't tell. 
They keep trying to make out it's something that it's not. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Yeah, I know. I see the fly splat right in the picture. It's just two years of being out here, man. And I, I just... Nothing, nothing's changed in respects of how I do things. Everything's still the same. At the start of it, it was a little quieter on the roads. People weren't out, which was understandable. It didn't take fucking long. It was a few months after. Boom, everybody was back to normal again. Being complete fucking psychos and nutters out here on the highways. Stores haven't changed. Bullshit hasn't changed. I keep telling people there. You look around, you look around, you look around. Shit's still the same. I don't, all I've seen is an increase in gas, increase in diesel, increase in fucking uh, electricity and, and, your, and your propane gas and your, and your uh, uh, good supplies and commodities at the stores. But shit's still the same. But you can't tell people that. They keep thinking there's some fucking insane disease out there that's wiping the fucking world clean. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. And I'll keep saying it's bullshit. You're, you're, you're fucking, you're, it's bull, you're just trying to pull the wool over our eyes. It's bullshit. This is just Little Red Riding Hood all over, man. What big eyes you got, Grandma? What big teeth you got, Grandma? It's, 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 that's how I see it. It's just Little Red Riding Hood. Bullshit. It's bullshit. She's got her feet up on the dash, right? So she's got her feet up on the dash with her phone in her hand. The problem is, you can never explain to anyone that the airbag system that sits now, if anything happens, it'll break your fucking legs. Oh, so it's going to happen, Mark. I mean, they're driving down the road and you don't know that. The whole system of them airbags can deploy at any second if they've got a faulty mechanism. You got your legs up on the dash and that goes, you're liable to have your legs implanted in your face. That ain't your problem, Mark. Oh, you're right, it ain't. I just know for a fact and if I had common sense in my head and I thought I was better than everybody else, I sure as fuck would put my legs up on the dash, knowing that an airbag could go off at any time and put them in my fucking head. I would keep my feet firmly placed down in the footwell where they belong. If you have that much of a problem with your legs, you get in the back and lay down on the fucking seat. It trips my head. When I see shit like that, see, it trips my head. Just like when I see people driving with their knees and their phone in their hand, both hands on the phone driving with their knees. That shit trips me. I see people with their foot up on the gas driving along. That shit trips me. It's like, you, you, you just, you shouldn't do that. That's going to fucking hurt. Humans. Humans, humans, humans. Are very strange people. Or are we just a strange breed?
I reckon we're probably grossing about 75,000, 76, because I'm about 40,000 in the box. And she just doesn't drop a beat, man. She just, she's like, yum, yum, yum. Give me some hills and I'll climb it. She's so awesome. He, she, it. Fuck, I can't even gender my truck anymore, can I? They, them. What pronoun are you, Blue? You're just a big old fucking machine, aren't you? Slow down on me, brother, just get it on down the road. It's 
so yeah, I, I asked him if you know if he needed some help. And well, he was he was obviously pissed at me because I blew the horn at me on the interstate, or he just was really having a shit day, a shit life. I don't know. Uh, he was just fucking fed up. But basically, um, I said, you know, I, I got some spare bolted. Well, then he slammed the door, and of course I was trying to talk to him. And yes, I know I should keep out of people's business. It ain't my problem. I get that. I fucking understand it. It's just hard for me to do that because I like helping. I think that we should help each other. And I had some spare bolts and I was willing to give him a bolt and it would have fixed his problem so he wasn't driving down the road with his fucking bright lights on, blinding everyone. And, he, and his side of his truck on the right side had been hit by the looks of it or he hit something, I don't know, because he had bungees all over the place. Well, he slammed the door on me and I was like, fuck. I get it, man. You, you didn't want to talk to me. You pissed at me. Whatever. I, I get it. I understand. I do. I totally understand. I do. I upset you. You fucking pissed. I'm really sorry that I upset you. Go fuck yourself. And that's my point right there. Did I have to get in his, you know, his business? No. I, I, obviously not. But I remember a time when we helped each other. We fucking helped each other. Hey man, do you need a bit of help? Ah, uh, no, I'm okay, but I appreciate it. Are you sure? Yep, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, I do actually. Wait, you know, can you help me out? I probably can. I've got something that I can give you, you know, to get you out of trouble. But the man just seemed to me that he just, he just, he seemed extremely lost. He seemed irritated, pissed off, fed up, and fucked off. And I'm like, alrighty then. I guess I'll just leave you the fuck alone then. Everyday occurrence. It's a struggle. So I do my best. I try my best to not let it upset me, but it does upset me because I really do feel that we should always be there for each other one way or another. Even even if it's just making someone's day feel good by waving at them. You know, it's just it doesn't cost, it costs nothing. It's fucking free. It doesn't cost you a fucking penny. Just like swearing. I can't help it. I try my best not to swear. I probably could get through it without swearing. But then words always come out. Are they derogatory? Are they are they meaningless? Are they are they do, 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 do they are they needed? No, probably not. Does it upset people? Absolutely every day. People get upset with you. Do I get upset? No, I don't care. You want to use all the swear words in a language? Go ahead. It, it, it don't know. It's just a word. It doesn't. It's meaningless to me. It's just a word. It doesn't upset me. You can see where they dug it out though. While I'm talking bollocks, you can see where they dug it out though. But it, it's just a word. It's just a word. So it's just you know it's certain things that trigger people and there's certain things that trigger me and ow! but what triggers me is the whole um, no, no, no brotherly sisterly sort of love that we used to have this is fucking awesome I just hope there ain't no way station me in the corner because that'll fucking suck because I never scaled out
13 minutes off the journey because we haven't got to go through the traffic lights and all that. That's freaking awesome. I bet that little part of the world's gonna gonna get. I wonder how pissed off they're gonna be. Because uh, well, maybe they'll be happy though because they don't want trucks going through there. I mean, this is really for us more than it is for cars. If I was a car, I'd still go old 71. I would. That's just me though.
it's only 55. I don't know why it's only 55, but it is only 55. And I'm still doing 65 and I'll still get past. Okay, so here we are. This, this is where we used to come. And this would be where we would join on and go up the hill. So now we're gonna get a heap of traffic. The exit's closed. Oh, a little rough, kids. Down there is old Highway 71, down there on the right hand side. And then climbing up the hill there, that's, that's the exit that we used to have to come up. That's my, that makes a huge. That, that's this right here. That, that's, yeah, that's a great improvement, that's the word I'm looking for, that's a massive improvement, of course this is going to be improved, oh, oh. stay there, well I, I got a freaking, there's a big old box seat next to me and I can't get up it, because that's what just whacked my tyre up.